regreso aquí en Auto 060. Estamos llegando al final del 2013 y, bueno, ha sido un año espectacular. Y qué mejor que compartir con los colegas. So, we're going to switch now to English because as we get in a, close to the end of 2013, um, what a best way to uh, to share everything that we, we, we experienced this year, that doing it with our colleagues. So now we have Christina Sattler, auto expert from her highway. How are you, Christina? I'm fantastic. Thank you for having me. No, thank you. I mean, it's a, it's a pleasure always to see you in person, uh, but uh, but also share experiences, as I was saying here on the radio show. So, uh, 2013, uh, I guess it went pretty fast. I mean, it, it seemed to me like that. <laughs> what about it's you? It's almost over. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, like, uh, we were at the Detroit Auto Show, uh, it seems like, uh, a few months ago, and now it's, uh, it's again next month. <laughs> It is, and a lot of exciting things coming up for 2014, but we had a lot of great cars for 2013. Yeah, so uh, let, me, let me ask you, what, what was uh, one of your favorites? I know there's a lot, and uh, we drive like, sometimes we drive two or three, four cars a week, so it's, it's, sometimes it's hard to digest and, and remember more, more likely. I mean, at the moment we do, but like, so what, what's it, what comes to mind when, when somebody asks you, what's the best car you've driven this year? Well, you know me. I like power under the hood. I like fast <laughs> cars. I love doing the track events. I'm very competitive, especially up against you men in the auto industry. Um, I'd have to say the Porsche 911, the coupe, really was extraordinary this year. I had a great time in it. It's very solid. Of course, launch mode. You feel like you're in a jet rocket when you push that. Yeah, that's one of the most fun uh, features in, in the cars. There, that, that thing is just amazing, and even though... The whole experience lasts what, like four seconds <laughs> to go to zero to sixty. It's something. It's pretty incredible. I mean, you really remember those four seconds. You remember the sound. You remember the the power, like pushing you on the seat. It's it's really. I mean, it's incredible how Porsche can can keep doing uh, like great great cars year after year after year. No. It is. It's amazing, and they constantly put out top of the line product. Uh, the interior, the exterior, the look the sexiness of the curves, the sound of the motor. But, yes, that launch mode, it's just a complete high. And most people don't even know about it unless you're a Porsche enthusiast. However, now that we're on the radio, a lot more people are going to say, what is that launch mode in the Porsche 911? <laughs> yeah, 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 let's go. So you want to explain it? <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> well, uh, launch mode is, is a system in which uh, like you, as, you, you put your foot on the brake and then you floor the accelerator. And then, like, Uh, the, the engine starts revving up all the way up to, like, the red line, and then you just leave the brake and, whoo, there you go, like a rocket, as you were saying, right? Yeah, just like a rocket ship. You go so fast, it's just, it's this huge adrenaline rush. Um, we did have another car that I was really excited about. Um, it was my first experience with a Callaway Corvette, and it was the C16. Wow. We actually had it on um, on set a week ago. We were filming our new show, and... We had that on there. It has so many amazing features. The one that really made me laugh that we had to shoot over and over and over because I, I, I just couldn't believe it is you put your hand right next to the driver's door just on the panel. Yeah. And there's a secret area that you just touch it with your fingertips and the door opens. Wow. It is amazing. Of course, it's a, a fast car. It's a great sounding car. But that was one of the things that was so unique that I don't see on many cars is You just touch the door, and it opens. There's no handle. It's completely flat. You just well, touch it. Well, I think the McLaren, the, the MP4C, uh, uh, has that system also, which is pretty pretty cool because you get to the car and say, look, now how I open it. <laughs> 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 It's pretty incredible. The challenge is in our job is to figure out how to get into the very fancy cars. Well, yeah. Um, and like, No, I mean, like, joking aside, I mean, like, these new cars get, like, so much new technology that you really, like, have to take your time Uh, to, to learn all these things. Uh, in, a, in a later segment of the show, we're going to talk about the Jaguar Driving Performance Academy, and I'm, uh, I'm driving uh, this week the new F-Type, and that car is amazing, yeah. and it has a similar system. I think mean, the, the handle to open the door is like f flush with the, with the door panel, and then when you hit the remote, like the thing comes out to you. So there's a lot of things to be learned in these new cars, right? I, yes, there is, and I have a surprise for you for that Jaguar. Oh, which one was it? it? Is <laughs> the director of our new show is the director of that new commercial where you see the cat, the chicken. That oh, that's funny, fantastic. Funny commercial. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a great commercial. For those who have not seen it, it's a, a commercial by Jaguar, 
And uh, they're like uh, basically making fun of uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, air magic system, which is a system in which the, the suspension really like absorbs about like I think it's up to 12 inches of movement. So when you get one of the speed bumps, uh, you don't feel it in the car. So they're making fun of it. And so this guy is holding the chicken and the, the chicken, you know, moves the head. So like it's doing like uh, the simulation of that system from Mercedes-Benz. And then like then you see... Uh, a few feathers flying off of the screen. I hope they didn't do anything bad to the chicken. And then you see a real jaguar, like the animal, not the car. And like it's a fantastic. So you 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 know the guy who directed that? that? Yes, his name is Michael, and he is fantastic. He's actually our director also for our new show. But he said, I said that cat is absolutely beautiful, and it's actually a combination. It's a jaguar cat. Let me look at it real quick. I've got it right on my phone. Yeah. It's a jaguar that was bred with a leopard. So the markings on that cat and then the sexiness of that car and the drama of the commercial, it just really pulls you in and you just totally get it. Wow, that's incredible. So, yeah, that. what about the car? You actually have driven the F-Type, I guess, right, too? I have not driven it. I'm so jealous of you. You get to go and go. <laughs> yeah, come to Miami. Really... This is convertible seasons here in Miami. Well, also in South, Southern California where you are, but uh, this is the perfect weather for those kind of cars now. Yes, actually, it, it was about 80 degrees yesterday. I was down in San Diego doing a segment. Now I'm back up in Orange County. And... Yeah, I'd have to say it's still convertible season here in California. Yeah, that too. And uh, I'm really, I feel, I really feel sorry for all our friends uh, and colleagues up north in New York, <laughs> in Boston, in Chicago, who are suffering with like the harsh uh, weather. Uh, something that we're gonna experience in uh, in just a few weeks in Detroit in the Auto Show. What are you looking? Uh, what are you like expecting to see in the, in, in the new uh, Detroit Auto Show next month? Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, I'm going to be uh, over at the GM booth. They, they've they got some big stuff coming out. I don't know if you've even uh, looked at that press release that came out. Of course, I want to hit Chrysler. Um, their TV ad campaigns have been fabulous, and their sales are skyrocketing for Dodge. So I want to make sure that I, I hit their booth and find out what's coming new. Uh, of course, one of my favorites for safety is Volvo. You and I both know Volvo's known for safety, so that is definitely – uh, right on the mark to get over there and see what they have. They do have their new station wagon out. Yeah. And I, people were saying, new station wagon. Ugh, uh. Guess what? It is not just amazing. It is sexy. Um, every single surfer that has seen that car with me has gone crazy. So Southern California is going back to station wagons. Excellent. <laughs> and, and, and that's great. And uh, great news from Volvo, which we went through, uh, through a pretty hard uh, period after uh, Ford sold them and they were like, and they are owned by uh, Geely in China. And there's some doubts, I guess, and some people thinking like, well, this is owned by China. What are they doing? But I, I guess like in the same case as Jaguar, who is so, which is owned by Tata in India. I mean, these companies, these, these parent companies are just like overseeing the thing, seeing if the money is coming in and let, let the guys do the cars. I mean, Volvo and Jaguar, obviously they know how to do cars. And apparently that's what's happening in both companies, right? Exactly. And actually, between those two, say Jaguar and Volvo, and you think Land Rover too, they are getting a lot of money dumped in from their partners. I call them partners, China, um, which allows them to now expand on more technology, more safety, uh, design. And of course, Volvo always tr stays true to their design. You can see cars from a long time ago to now, and you still know it's a Volvo. Yeah. Um, they do have that new coupe. That they put out, uh, I saw that about a week ago at the design studio and got a tour of the design studio. Amazing work that they're doing at Volvo and Jaguar. Yeah, and Volvo is also pushing the new division, I guess, like the new line of models, like the Polar, the Polster, so what, what are they called, the, the, the high-performance cars? Uh, from Volvo that are, are really good and like uh, they're like a little bit like separating from the regular cars, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, so uh, we we talk about the great things that we've seen uh, in 2013. Is something that you didn't like that much this year? Well, you know me. I like the power under the hood. Um, there's actually, I can't even say that there's anything that I did not like. I, I, of course, like you, we drive all different levels of cars, from economy to hybrid to electric. I would like to see the electric, let's say like the Fiat, um, the Fiat, the 500, the car, yeah. 
Yeah, I'd like to see them get a, a longer range, but of course the Fiat 500 gets almost 100. Yeah, exactly. So, so for me down here in Southern California, that works great. Um, I do know that they are all working on longer ranges, which is perfect. We're going to step into 2014 and see what they can do. Well, that's great. That uh, It's also great that you didn't have too many bad things to say because we're running out of time, actually. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I guess uh, Christina Sadler, auto expert from her highway.com, right? Uh, that's where uh, all our audience can go and look for your uh, the great content that you create, right? Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Christina, and uh, we uh, will uh, look for you there at uh, the Detroit Auto Show next month. Thank you very much again for your time and uh, sharing all the experiences this uh, great year 2013. See you in Detroit. Bye. Ciao. Bye-bye. Pues ahí tienen a Cristina Sedler, eh, la experta de HerHighway.com, que crea una gran cantidad de contenido eh, sobre los autos y la perspectiva diferente a veces de la mayoría de esta industria está dominada por los hombres y ella es una de las colegas que hace un trabajo excepcional, un, un gran trabajo. Así que les recomiendo mucho que vayan a ver su página, herhighway.com, y la pueden buscar también en Facebook, que es Cristina Sedler, y eh, todos los videos que hace ella. Así que, súper interesante esta conversación, la he disfrutado mucho. Ya regresamos con otro segmento, esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota.